In this video, we're gonna take a look at Harbor Freight's 1.5 watt solar battery charger. What's up, people? So I knew the day would come where my golf cart here, because I don't ride it regularly, start it up regularly, my battery is starting to go low. It's at uh, below 12 volts right now. I wasn't able to start it up with the electric start. So my plan was originally to get one of these Harbor Freight solar chargers and just kind of mount it somewhere so that the golf cart's always getting a little bit of a charge from the sun when I park it outside. So before I went out and bought one, I went on uh, YouTube and uh, seen if there was any reviews on these. And there was a few. But what confused me is some people were saying that it was charging batteries and some people were saying it was just maintaining batteries. Other people were saying the thing doesn't work at all. So what I'm going to do is in this video, we're going to test my battery, make sure my battery's good. We're going to see what voltage it's at. We're going to hook this thing up. I'm going to leave it on there probably for at least two days. Um, and we'll see if the voltage goes up at all. Okay, so real quick, we'll go over uh, some of the things on the box. This is item number 68692. It's a 1.5 watt solar battery charger. It's supposed to uh, compensate for any small steady battery drains. It does plug into your cigarette lighter and it comes with adapter for that. And then you can mount it to your windshield as you can see in the picture there. There's the two adapters, one you just plug right, or you clip right onto your battery, which I'll be doing. And then there's another one where you can just plug it into your cigarette lighter and it's supposed to charge your battery that way. Shows everything that it comes with. There's the dimensions. You guys can see there's my battery in my golf cart. I'm not going to take it out or anything. I'm just going to leave it in there. But I disconnected the positive and negative. So there's nothing running to that. We're going to do a test. Battery test and we'll do a voltage test. Alright guys, I got my battery tester hooked up to this. We're going to see if the battery's bad. Let it run its test. And it doesn't say it's bad. It just says it's low. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but right now it's at 11.313031 right there. That'll give us a starting point. So there's a solar panel right there. I'm just going to prop it up in the bed of the golf cart. Got it ran. The wires ran all the way down and it's plugged into, well not plugged in, but it's clipped onto the posts there. Positive and negative. Obviously right now it's, it's getting towards the end of the day, so it's not too bright out right now. As you can see though, the LED is blinking. So it's getting a little bit of sunlight. But what I'll do is I'll leave this out, come check it tomorrow. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, sunny the next day. I think I'm going to go for two days. Shouldn't be any drain on this battery because nothing's hooked up to it just the solar panel so hopefully we'll see um, if the voltage jumps up at all like I said there's a lot of back and forth on this product about if it works or not so I'm just gonna do the test myself I picked this up for uh, I think they're regularly like $13 I used a 20% off and it came to like $11, so we'll see how it works. Come back out here in a couple days and we'll test the battery. Alright guys, so it's been about a week since I last tested my battery with the Harbor Freight solar panel on it. I just want to make one note, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's been overcast and cloudy this whole week. 
not making any excuses I'm just stating the facts so I'm not really sure what the charge is gonna be on this battery if any so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it right now and we'll see if this uh, solar panel actually does uh, charge a battery and I actually moved the solar panel to the top of the golf cart here so that I could get the most sunlight possible to it like I said it's been cloudy and overcast so hasn't been a whole lot of sun but uh, we'll see all right guys so I got my tester turned on here I'm gonna connect the probes to the positive and negative and we'll see if this solar panel did anything All right, so it looks like the battery is at 11.89 volts, which is a definite increase from what it was originally at. If I remember correctly, I think it was at 11.31. So it's still not at 12 volts, but it definitely did charge the battery. It's at 11.89. All right, guys, so I guess that answers my question if the solar panel is really gonna work for my setup. As you can see, it did charge the battery. Didn't get it right at 12 volts, but I think it was due to the conditions of it being cloudy out here. I'm going to leave it on there. Um, hopefully it will get up to 12 volts. Maybe I'll post in the comments below if it does or not. But for right now, um, it showed a significant increase in the voltage. So I'm happy with it for 11 bucks. I guess you can't really beat it. Maybe I'll even uh, think about buying another one and putting two of these panels on there. Maybe it'll charge it a little bit faster. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if you guys are interested, you can pick this up at Harbor Freight, obviously. I think it's around $13.99. Found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you guys uh, like what I'm doing here, hit that subscription button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.